Yeah, I think I just have allergies or whatever. Temperatures changing, weather's going crazy. It's beautiful outside today. Who do I want to be? Time for the lucky cat cup. Uh, I'm not sure which cup I like more yet. I don't know if you have to have an opinion of which one you like more. But if uh, I guess what I'm saying is if someone were to ask me, I would tell them, I don't know. <laughs> I love what they did with this track. The first time I did it, I didn't even realize that I was going a different way. I realized like five seconds later, I was like, oh my god, it just changed it. And I think that's... It's brilliant. Yeah, I'm not sure if the tour music is different at all. Metal Mario. You're a piece of- oh my god. I don't know how I didn't get a single hit. I got crushed. Oh, are you kidding me? I just passed him too. Get away from me. Yeah, so when this track first came out, Tokyo Blur 1 on Mario Kart Tour, I thought this was a super boring track. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one who thought that. Um, but... Changing the route each lap definitely makes makes it a much more enjoyable track. I don't know why I did that, because now I'm going to get a coin. Oh boy. I did hear that, uh, I thought that I heard that the tour tracks, Tokyo Blur and Paris Promenade, at least, were gonna let you pick whatever route you wanted to. Um, like Yoshi Valley, kinda. Um, but I think now that I'm thinking about it, it makes complete and total sense why they didn't go for that. Because clearly, there would be a better route to go every time. Meaning, like, that last lap is definitely the longest lap because of how long the route is that they have you go on. I love hearing this music. Sounds so good. Brings back so many memories. I, ho I hope they bring back more DS tracks. I want I want Waluigi Pinball, Airship Fortress. For some reason, I really want Delfino Square right now. All right, that's fine. Um, I also want Luigi's Mansion because that track would look crazy. I feel like. Just, Endo, please don't forget about the anti-gravity. 
I think it's a very cool mechanic and it can make the track seem brand new. It's like, I love that they brought Shroom Ridge back. I love that they brought Shroom Ridge back. But it's also, because like, it's definitely probably one of the least memorable tracks from Mario Kart DS. Um, but they didn't really do much with this track. They added a hang glider, uh, a hang glider ramp, and that little shortcut with the the air vent or whatever at the end. I mean, that's basically, it. and the track looks great too. I guess I was just hoping for more anti gravity, maybe. I don't know. Uh-oh. No way. Didn't matter anyways, because I got hit by a red shell right before it. This track feels like a brand new track. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I love that it's this is sarcasm but um this track just came out on mario kart tour like a couple weeks ago and all all they really did with this one is they made the road i don't know what cut what you say brick colored instead of stone colored it, like it is in Mario Kart Tour. But I like it. I love the redone music. Obviously, I've said that. <coughs> <coughs> said that a bunch of times already today. This music takes me back too because this track was also in DS. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, f fun fact, if you don't know, those leaves bounce you like they're mushrooms. They even make the mushroom noise when you bounce on it. Here, listen. Never mind, I didn't get to do it. No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 no. Go. Oh. Okay, okay, we good, we're good, we're good. Oh boy. I actually got worried there. I don't know why I got worried. I guess I like getting three stars, and the only way to get three stars is if you come in first in every race. Yeah, this is probably the tour track I care about the least. Uh, but I don't hate it. I just hope that they... I wish it would say that this was from tour. I don't know why it just says Ninja Hideaway. Because it obviously is it's from Tor. So why they wouldn't put that it's from Tor 
confuses me. All right. I also thought it was funny that the official website, um, at least for a little while, I don't know how long it actually said this, but it, uh, it said that DS Shroom Ridge was actually 3DS Shroom Ridge. I thought that was funny. All right. This track is difficult in 200cc. Now, I don't know if it's cause I had done 50cc, then 100cc, and then skipped straight to 200cc. But I mean, it, w it was pretty difficult. I got lucky that I beat it, or that I came in first. Oh my god, too high. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're fine, we're fine. Didn't let me trick off of any of this. But I did it! Did both the cups in 150 cc. I hope you all enjoyed. I wanted to show off these new tracks. I'm glad I had the time, or I, I got the time to do it. I'm very, I'm even more grateful that I, uh, I felt better this morning. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Uh, I, now I only need to do the mirror versions of the cups, um, and then I, and then I'll probably start doing online. I won't, I won't be doing the mirror stuff on here. Um, but yeah, that's that was the lucky cat cup, three stars, 150 cc. Um. If I'm feeling up to it, I might go live later tonight after work. Depends. Um, big might. Depends on how I'm feeling and what time I get out of work. Um, but you can definitely expect more Mario Kart content from me coming not just soon, but like for at least the next week or two, um, I'm going to be playing a lot of online uh, because of these new tracks. Hopefully the new tracks show up a lot. Um, or at least enough. <laughs> My YouTube is David the Bomb. Give it a like. Subscribe. It's free. Play a lot of Mario Kart. Going to be playing Kirby when that comes out. Um... If you want to follow me on Twitch, it's also David the Bomb. It's absolutely free. Uh, and if you want to follow my Instagram, it's David the Bomb Twitch. Uh, other than that, thank you all so much for watching and being here. And hopefully, I'll see you all on the next whatever it is. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.